Hi guys and welcome to this video. My name is Chris with Webonics Gaming and this is Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, so this is going to be a, a playthrough slash walkthrough guide for anyone who's new to Raid or wants to get into Raid and to see what it's about. Um, hopefully you guys will watch some of these videos and you know, kind of follow along, get more perspective on what is useful. Let's check out this uh, intro. I think I'll pass on this one. Elhane, I think he likes you. Not for long. Okay, so we we get straight into the game. There's a little uh, cinematic intro, and then we get to this kind of like press this button here to do stuff. Um, yeah. So for, before we get into this, um, yeah, you have to understand that this is a mobile game. So we're treating it like a mobile game. We're not expecting to have like a major in-depth story or, you know. Uh, extensive gameplay mechanics it, it is what it is this game is built for mobile uh, and, it, and it is good and it's very playable on mobile um, if you like those types of games games where you could just like dip in and out um, you know throughout the day um, <clears throat> you know managing resources and kind of having a little bit of uh, tactical input choosing what gear to use and what champions to use and this is going to be a, a nice game for you um, so yeah, uh, this game is available on PC through the, um, um, on download through, uh, Plarium, and it's also available on mobile devices through the iTunes store and Google Play store. Uh, so let's continue through with this little sequence here. Dragon has a weak spot. If I can hit it just right. <laughs> and you're gone. <laughs> I think I like this dragon. Well, that could have gone better. Any ideas? We attack together on three. Portal area for the Arbiter. These champions may have been the ones. Yet it seems I have failed. They were not ready. Teleria is dying, consumed by war and discord. Even now, dark forces in the service of Siron spread a foul shadow from the east. As guardian of Teleria, I have done what I can, but my power is almost spent. This task now falls to you. I have strength left to restore only one fallen champion to aid you. With their shard remade, they will be bound to your will. But you must choose. Um, okay, so I started playing this game like, uh, like a year ago now. 
Uh, and also, I don't think there was any story to it. I must have just like mashed through the buttons and all, all that sequence. You can kind of like click through it. You don't have to listen to that stuff. Um, but the I didn't realize like the arbiter, uh, the person just speaking there was actually a champion in the game. Um, and she is probably one of the best champions in the game as well. Um, so congratulations if you've got her. I'm working on her and I almost have her. Um, okay, so this is the first kind of uh, choice that you get. You have to choose your first champion for the game. Uh, now they're all at the same affinity. They're all uh, magic affinity. This blue little color at the bottom. They're all rares. And they all kind of like have a... Uh, bring a... Bring a uh, a decent amount of advantage into the game uh, for a starting character. We'll have some varied skills. Let's just go over these quickly. We've got uh, Elhain, uh, Kale, Gallic, and Athel. Let's go to Elhain first. She's got. Uh, you'll notice as well. All these champions have an aura skill, which increases ally HP and battles by fifteen percent. Um. So they've all got that, and then they've all. Got, I think it's three. Yeah, they've all got three skills. And this is referred to uh, A1, A2, and A3. Uh, so let's go over Elhane's first. For A1 attack, keen shot. She attacks one enemy, places an extra hit if this attack is critical. Her A2 ability um, attacks one enemy, then all enemies. Has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit, places a 13% Increase crit rate buff on this champion for three turns if a target is killed. And her A3 ability attacks all enemies two times. Um, so she has got some general she self buffs and she's got some uh, AoE attacks as well, which is good for clearing uh, groups of enemies. It's good for campaign. A lot of people use her in arena as well. <clears throat> and then we've got Kale. Uh, Kale's a lot of people's. Uh, favorite for a staff champion just because he has a little bit more of an advantage um, because his attacks deal poison. So his A1 ability attacks one enemy, has an 80% chance of placing a 2.5% poison debuff for two turns, um, and that goes up to 100% chance. His A2 ability attacks all enemies, has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit. Fill the turn meter of this champion by 25% for each enemy killed. Uh, so if you attack and kill four enemies, you instantly get a, a turn straight after. And his A3 attacks four times at random, has a 40% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff for two turns. Um, that, that has a cooldown on there, which takes it to four turns, and it takes the debuff, the chance of casting that spell, uh, the poison part of that spell, by an extra 10%, so that goes up to 50%. Um, yeah, he's pretty good. Like, his poison abilities are the reason that a lot of people choose him. He's uh, the favorite uh, in many cases because he has his poison, which is very beneficial for the part of the game which you unlock later, which is the clan boss. Uh, poison is very useful in that encounter. That's why a lot of people choose him. Uh, Gallic is A1 ability, attacks one enemy two times. Is a two ability attacks all enemies has an extra fifteen percent chance of inflicting a critical hit places a thirty percent increased speed buff on this champion for two turns and his a three ability attacks four times at random has a thirty percent chance of placing a thirty percent decreased defense debuff for two turns has a thirty percent chance of placing a sixty percent decreased defense debuff for two turns if the target has more than two debuffs and then we move on to Athol. Um, A1 ability attacks one enemy three times, has a 75% chance of placing a 25% weakened debuff for two turns on the last hit. Uh, this also goes up to 100%. This is probably one of the strongest uh, uh, weakened debuffs on a rare champion. Just because it's 100% and it's on uh, her A1 ability. Uh, A2 ability attacks all enemies, has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit. And her A3 ability places a 25% increased attack buff on this champion for two turns, places a 30% increased defense 
uh, buff on this champion for two turns if the champion's current HP is less than 50% and gains one extra turn. Uh, so these are all the champions. That was uh, quite a bit of a mouthful to go through all of those. Um, they are all fairly, uh, in my opinion, they're all fairly balanced and it doesn't really matter which champion you choose. All of these are going to be good for clearing, uh, for start, start, um, Starting to get start of the game into mid game range, um, so yeah, they're all pretty useful. The only difference is, is time spent on champion, resources spent on a champion. Uh, Kale's kind of the one you want to be putting resources in because it's going to be useful a bit later on down the line as well, uh, such as clan boss. So you're going to be so you can use him in your like initial teams for clan boss. Uh, so therefore, it's it's uh, you know resources spent wisely. Uh, but other than that, they they're all kind of they're all generally kind of the same. They've all got like AOE attacks, single attacks. Uh, they've all got their own like debuffs that they bring, or or buffs, um, and they've all got the same HP aura. Um, so yeah, it's kind of dependent on you. We are gonna go for Kale, um, just because he does that have that extra poison effect, which which is a good choice to go for. Uh, in my opinion as well, because of this uh, poison debuffs is going to help you on clan boss and with his A2 ability is going to be good for clear impacts uh, for getting you through a campaign. Let's grab this guy. So be it. Awaken warrior. This is your bastion. From your oh, head, and then we install this up. Don't have to go through this. You can kind of like go through this yourself. You to... Um... But yeah, we're going to kind of like cover each area as we go through it anyway. Excellent. You Got a fresh new champion that we can work with. Behold. You um, okay, so this is the campaign area. Chapter 1. Eleven generations of peace had reigned between the kingdom of Karak and the realm of Arabia. A peace now shattered by King Taba's brutal campaign of expansion into the neutral lands between the two kingdoms. Once revered as a pillar of justice, King Taba had imposed crushing taxes to finance his war with his former ally, bringing desolation and ruin upon his own people. Had the king lost all reason? On the orders of the Arbiter, the company set out to persuade him to announce his folly and wayward policies. Even if it meant storming the very gates of Kirok Castle. Karok will not fall easily. Like all places in Teneria, there are multiple stages of defenders. You must defeat all stages to move forward with your journey. This is where you select your team and review the enemy champions before each battle. Magic feats you have only... Okay, so that's just basically given the setup of each stage. Uh, you've got your affinities here. So each champion has an affinity assigned to them. So here we've got the spirit affinity and the magic affinity. Uh, magic's at the top. It's strong against spirit affinity and spirit affinity and affinity is strong against force affinity. Uh, and then that just goes around in a circle. Uh, force is really weak against spirit affinity. And there's a one in the middle which is void and that's kind of neutral so that you don't get any uh, benefits or weaknesses to other affinities with, with the void champions. Um, so we've got our starting characters. These are the only ones we can well choose for now. Um, and because we've selected... Uh, Kale as our starting champion, he also gets the aura for the HP bonus as well, which tells you up this up in this section here. Aura skill increases alloy HP in battles by fifteen percent. The arrows above each enemy's head show how your champion's affinity matches up against theirs. Uh, so like she was just saying, uh, yellow's for neutral, no benefits or weaknesses. We just go ahead and select a skill. That wasn't the one I wanted to select, but oh well. Um, use this A2. Um, 
Might as well just take this out now with single attacks. Um, let's move on. These these two have different affinities. It's kind of it's got the affinity at the where it also shares their level. Uh, this is their HP, and this is their turn meter. Uh, so we've got a strong affinity against this champion, which is the spirit. So yeah, I'm just going to use our AoE attack. And then just finish this guy off. Um, and there's a few like other things, like you've got the info of the, bot, uh, of the battle. So if there's any buffs or debuffs, it'll give you information on those next to the champions or the enemies. Um, the auto just kind of like lets this battle auto play out. And there's a speeder which it does that. And this is all the abilities per character. So we're currently on Kale with that green ring around him. And these are his abilities. Uh, the number on there is how many cooldowns it has. How many turns that you need to take before you can use that ability again. Um, obviously we've just gone through these bits. And this is like the area of where we are in the level. So we're around 3 of 3. And this is the time it's taken so far. 1 minute 37 seconds. Uh, so let's just finish these two. Finish these two off. And we got our loot. Uh, you're always going to get silver from these from these battles, and um, most of the time you're going to get an item. Excellent. Campaign levels drop. Along with special items. All right, let's go back to the Bastion. Okay, yeah, Bastion is just your your main hub. This is where you can view all each champ. <sighs> all right. So now we're it's the tutorial for equipping things. We can go onto our champion. It's selected on the left side, and the slots are on the right side. So we are clicking on the weapon slot, and we can select an artifact. Whip it. See that? you I believe you are ready. It's just also playing through this. <clears throat> we're just going back into the level, and now we're at a stage where we can just click on the auto. And just let it play out. This is what you're going to be doing for the majority of this game. Kind of like uh, auto in these battles. Because you're going to be going through them. Coming back to these levels a lot. Just to grind out experience. Silver and, and artifacts. Congratulations. You leveled and now we leveled up. So we get a refill of energy. And it goes up. And here are your rewards. Oh, buy an extra few points as well, and we get some gems as well, which are your most, uh, which are highly sought after resor uh, resource. Artifacts can be equipped individually. All right, the equipment of a <coughs> piece of gear. Special icons will show which artifact sets a champion is equipped with. Ta this set boosts your champion's HP by fifteen percent. Yeah, so it does kind of, it, it tells you, as you play through this, there is a little intro, there's a, kind of gives you a brief guide of uh, what you need to do to make your champion stronger, which is what we're doing now, just the basic, we're upgrading our, uh, our gear that we've got, our artifact. Excellent work. When you, you have learned well. Yeah, brilliant. Um, so we've completed a challenge and we also get this, which is our new player rewards. Um, so I think they brought this in a little bit after I started playing this, so it wasn't from the start. Uh, but basically, uh, for each day you log in, you get a new piece of gear. This is a lifesteal set, which is very good um, throughout the whole time we're playing this game. And then at the end, day seven, you get a new champion. Um, which, which is not the best, but... <clears throat> she is useful if you don't have any any champion that fills that role. So we received our boots, um, and then we get to like mic microtransactions. Uh, you'll see a lot of these, especially when you just log into the game. Uh, I think I want my main account like about between like five and seven pop up when I first log in, which could be a, a bit of a pain sometimes. But it's just yeah, this is what you can buy. These are our packs on offer at the minute. That's all the stuff you get. Uh, but we're just going to deselect that. 
and now we can actually play the game for ourselves. Um, so we got three rewards. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is just going for your like progress rewards. Um, <clears throat> so start from level one. We've kind of yeah, we just selected our champion and gone through like the tutorial area, um, which is basic, basic battle commands and uh, gear equipping. Uh, now this is our bastion, which is just the name for your for your hub, for your hub station. Uh, all these things around here get unlocked at when we progress these levels. Uh, I think these levels are wrong though. You kind of unlock them at different levels to what it says, unless they've updated that recently. Um, uh, but yeah, so once you start off as a new player, you'll get a daily login rewards, which is all this. So this lasts for three months, and every day you log in, you get a new reward. So there's a lot of stuff to pick up here. Again, they didn't have this when I started the game, but when I was able to do it when they introduced it. Uh, which was probably about four four months ago, I think. Four, five months? Probably a bit longer than that. Um, more like five or six months ago. Um, so you get a lot of rewards here. You get loads of shards, which is what you use to summon new champions. Loads of uh, artifact pieces, skill books, XP boosts, gems. And then you get a, a champion at the end of it. Uh, epic champions by the way and so every day 60 epic champion at the end and epic champion at the end uh, which can be useful for starting off with especially when you don't have many champions to use <coughs> um, as well as these uh, daily log rewards uh, we've gone over those these are new player rewards and you also get progression rewards every time you reach level 5 you get XP boost level 10 skill book gems skill book and so on you get 60, then you get a sacred shard. Um, and we got some free wards available as well. Um, so this is from a download in the game. Get these, let's grab these right now because these are four star rare artifacts, which are going to be good starting off for the game. Um, and then as well as all that stuff, you get your daily rewards, your playtime rewards. So as long as you're logged in and playing the game uh, after so many minutes after 180 minutes you will be able to get all these rewards and these go up in stages so we play for five minutes we can get this we play for 20 minutes we can get the shard um you know in 17 minutes we can get this reward and then you get a free energy boost uh a free energy refill uh, after an hour of play which is always the one to aim for <laughs> uh, because that's going to give you, you know, your resources back so you can like do anything in the game um <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to leave this video here. Um uh, you know, we've gone over a lot of stuff. If you've if you've watched this video up until this point and you like any of this content, then please hit that like and subscribe button on the channel and even the notification bell and it'll notify you when we post another video. Um if there's any topics in this video which I've like gone over but haven't gone too much into and you would like a, a more in-depth explanation, uh, with my views on the subject then please like uh yeah throw in a comment and i'll be able to and uh, hopefully i'll be able to get a video bring a video out soon explaining that kind of subject in further detail um yeah so i hope you hope you like this hope you enjoyed watching this and if you'd like to see more than this then you know click that like button the more likes i get the more faster <laughs> you know the faster i'm going to be uh bringing this content out to you guys uh so once again, hope I see you in another video and yeah, take care guys. Bye.